Well, first of all, who the f*** am I? I'm Dan, a first year computer science student here in National University of Manila. And I am Loss. My skills are for IT, but I wound up in computer science. Do I regret it? Yes. Do I want to shift? Yes. Will I do it? No. <laughs> well, here are the things that I learned anyway. Do your best. Giving all your effort into activities, no matter how small it is, no matter if it's a minor subject, it helps you learn about things that you otherwise may not learn in the first place. And well, knowledge is power, you know? What if in the future, at your future job, you find this problem and, you know, well, if you did, if you gave it your all in the first place, you wouldn't even really think of it as a problem because, hey, I've done this before in college and I can probably do it again. So give it your all. Do your best. Know your priorities. The education system in the Philippines makes it so that you would have to learn general subjects even though you've learned about them in high school or senior high school. This is why you, a student, should know what the major subjects are so you can prioritize them first. Putting aside the minor subjects, but not literally aside where you won't, you know, do anything to them because that can take you down from top to bottom if you don't give it your all or if you don't even put a single ounce of effort into it. So make sure to not leave the minor subjects too. Don't cram. Or do. It's up to you. My advice? Start small. Lay out a path to achieve this project and the tools you'd need. List them down. This small early step will help you on down the line because you'd know small problems right away. Doing big things early on will also help there are people out there who prefer doing big things first rather than the easy things. And well, if that's worked for you, then that works for you. Have a stress reliever. It can be anything. I choose cycling and exercising. Some of my friends choose gaming. It can be anything as long as you find it productive in your own way and it puts you into a flow state or in your deep focus. You're not thinking about school. You're just thinking of doing this stress reliever thing and it's going to be good for you and better. It may help you understand what you need to do to overcome the challenges that you're facing on school right now. It can be anything, just enjoy it. If you click on this video because you're an upcoming freshman and you're really scared of what the fuck's going to happen to you, don't be, okay? Part of being a freshman is learning what you don't know. Don't be too hard on yourself. Just focus on what you need to do on your freshman year. Everything else will be on your second year and third and fourth or fifth, depending on your curriculum or your degree. Hell, if you really want to excel on your freshman year, you can do that very easily. Learn about your program, what your subjects are, and learn about it beforehand. Those three steps can launch you with from a bad GPA to a good GPA. You don't need to worry about the specific of things. If you know that this is the path you need to take for your future career or the career you want, keep going. Okay? Keep going. Just keep going, man. Fuck. He's some kind of fucking pussy. You can't go. You can't fucking go. Fuck, man.